Wow. What's up, y'all? Many blessings to you. The boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it. Everybody in the free world wants to get rid of one human being. And that human being just happens to be Dion Waiter. The Miami Heat thought they were getting some amazing. Well, eight year veteran played tremendous to get to this contract. Everybody's like, man, this guy's got potential. We saw LeBron James was holding him back in Cleveland. And he got a chance to get his escape ticket, get out. And many people were like, man, this guy here, he's going to be the one. Then injuries, you know, that plagued him, returned. And he was never the same again. He came back from injuries, and there was just a disconnect with him during that whole process. And I think his agent knew that the Miami Heat gave up on him and tried to move him a year ago, and they couldn't. And the problem is, I don't think he wants to leave. South Beach. The lifestyle of Miami and the rappers and the, you know, it's South Beach. And I think South Beach has got a hold of him. And he's forgetting about what pays the bills. And he's feeling, man, I haven't seen other players do this stuff. And they can still function, but he's not able to function. He's had a number of what they call an unacceptable incident. He's suspended for like the fifth time this season. Where they took a picture of him or someone saw him surfing when he said that he was sick. And they gave him the day off. And the, the problem is the heat is stuck. They stuck with him. Nobody wants to take him. And if you do trade him, other teams are looking for a draft pick to take uh, Deion Waiters. You got to provide him a draft pick, but Pat Riley is not willing to give up draft pick. He'll just swallow the money. And what uh, one scout told me that he's had this stuff over his head his entire career. And they said Miami, it just didn't change. And right now they can't find a trade scenario that fit. And the problem is that shocking is that he's 27 years old. But he's not considered a high value asset. He hasn't played more than 46 games in any of the last three seasons. And he's due nearly $25 million left in his contract all the way into 2021. Now, he was averaging 14 and 4 on the court. And it all depends, but that's not what they were paying for. But with Kendrick Nunn turning out better than anybody ever imagined, undrafted, I don't think nobody's undrafted ever did what he's doing. He's definitely picked up the slack. Dragic, who they might trade, who's been loyal to the Heat. Pat Riley's real good with loyalty. Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero 
then don't forget Winslow. You really got your team right there. You got your guards sewn up. They really have no room for him. And on the rotation, he'll just be a guy sitting on the bench. But he's making $25 million. Meanwhile, Kendrick Nunn, who they want to keep around and going to have to pay, they might have to sit him down on the bench. And they might have to ultimately try to play Waters or Waiters, I'm sorry about that, just so they can increase his trade value. But the way he's acting, I can't see Pat Riley sticking him in the game. He's shown so much of a lack of discipline as an NBA player. People are saying, oh, they picking on him. It's always these pothead dudes out here, man, they picking on him, man. They don't see nothing about alcohol. I'm like, alcohol is not the issue, man. If the rule said alcohol is the is the reason, you lose your job. You can't drink and play basketball. Then by all means. But if marijuana is in the rules saying you can't get high period, you shouldn't be doing it. If you got a problem with the rules, you take it up with the establishment. But the rule was there before they they signed and brought you in and shook your hand when you walked across the state. You weren't complaining about it then? Only when things are not going your way. This guy has done acts that has been selfish. Not a teammate would do. But yet and still, there's people out there that will back this man no matter what. And that's the problem. That's the problem. He has to go. I'm not saying that he should be kicked out the league. What he's doing is enough to be kicked out the league, though. For real. Because if they swallow this contract and have to pay on this 25 mil, it might be cheaper to keep him rather than lose that draft pick. I would just wait till the two years is up, swallow it, buy him out, and say goodbye. The the NBA don't need characters like this. You know, chewing weed gummies on the plane. We don't need characters like this. They... They bring the NBA to a a dark light whenever they're mentioned. So, on that note, we'll bring this to a head. But don't forget, man, donate to the Cash App. The name is Carcino on that Cash App. Y'all already know it. Or hit the Streamlab up. I'm going to go live. Might do some face-to-face action with everybody. You know? Might do that. I'm going to put four videos on the side so that you guys can check them out and see which ones you should watch. 
They're pretty entertaining. 